try to give a short overview about things you might be confronted with by using the ELN, but not how to uh, know how to solve them. And therefore, um, I'd like to show you a synthesis we are applying in our bachelor degrees uh, to the um, students doing a lab course in the fifth uh, semester. And uh, usually they're um, doing the ferrocene synthesis. And last winter semester, we firstly applied um, the Camotion ELN for them to use during the lab course. So they are getting in contact with research data management and also um, re receive feedback on how applicable um, the ELN is for them to use as uh, yeah, users. Uh, who are in first contact with the program. And before the course even started, we, are, we went through all the um, reactions they have to type in into the ELN. And we came up with problems we didn't know how to solve. And that's why I think by presenting these four steps here today, it gives a good overview about things you might struggle with as well. And um, just to begin with, there are four steps, as I already mentioned, the cracking of the cyclopentadiene, the um, preparation of uh, sodium cyclopentadienyl, the comproportionation to iron 2 chloride, and the synthesis of ferrocene at the end. Where I want to start is um, possibilities to type in um, molecules in chem motion. One possibility is, as you might know, to just uh, type in your know, molecule in a structure editor, but there are other and maybe easier ways to do so, um, especially when you have complex structures you might have to, to imply. So one way to uh, put in uh, your molecules is about the SMILES code. So when we begin with d you can copy uh, the SMILES code uh, in this um, space here and just go on create molecule. And la just like that, you get the um, molecule you want to type in. Um, by doing so, you should uh, remember to give the density as it's a liquid. And so you're in your reactions afterwards, the uh, right molarity is uh, calculated by chemotion directly. So, um, we can save this one. What else do we need? Our product. Another way to um, type in molecules is um, by using the mole text. I just copying it. And when you go into your uh, structure editor, you can type over here in the top line on the open button and just put, uh, put in uh, the mole text and create your molecule. So for cyclopentadiene, that's not really necessary because you don't need much time and effort to type it in. But if you have complex structures or even inorganic complexes or something like that, this would be an easy alternative to put in your molecules. So also here, remember to write down the density and then we have the two molecules we are starting with. As you can see here, they are created as new entries in the ELN um, with new numbers. So starting with the uh, cracking of d you can use the drag and drop function. This um, offers two possibilities. You have to distinguish, but it's not a very intuitive at the beginning. So I want to show you what happens when you use a drag and drop function. Starting here in the gray um, area, there's the entry of your ELN and all your single entries you have made of one specific molecule are listed below. So if you're using this um, cross here and put it in your starting materials and create your reaction, 
you'll see that updated here that um, you created a new entry here with a new number. So we started with the 221 and by dragging this um, molecule overview with the gray background, we created a new molecule with the number 223. Otherwise, when you're taking one specific entry below your overview and put it here, you get instead uh, you get instead an entry that is connected with the entry you already had in your database. So it's not counting up to 224, but it says, okay, it's the molecule 221, one. So it's connected with uh, the entry you already did. So you should keep that in mind when um, doing your entries in the ELN, you can interconnect all your substrates or products between the reactions. I already prepared some of the reactions so we can go through them a little bit faster. So I don't have to write down everything right now. But if you want to and say, okay, um, we use 50 millimole of our uh, component. Um, all things are readily uh, typed in by the uh, ELN as you gave, uh, as it knows the density, uh, the molar mass and also the density of your substrate. When we're going to the second step after the cracking of the cyclopentadiene, it would be the uh, synthesis of sodium cyclopentadiene. Therefore you need sodium. And if you're creating a sample out of sodium, so I go in the editor and uh, just um, go to the periodic table and choose a sodium. When I then type it in, you will see, okay, it's not just giving us sodium, but it's giving us sodium hydride. And that's because Chemotion automatically sets the valency of your sodium to one. When you choose the uh, symbol over here to pick your sodium, you can double click and get a properties uh, window where you can set things that are regarded to your sodium molecule. So you can say, okay, we have this and that charge, or you can also pick the valency. Here you have to set it to zero. So Chemotion knows you're not using sodium hydride, but you're using sodium. That's a possibility to set the valency of your um, atoms and molecules. When we're going back to the reaction, um, you have to start by, I wrote down the um, description. You have to start by uh, dispersing sodium and dry toluene to create a finely dispersed sodium species. And then you're cooling down, going to zero degrees, adding your cyclopentadiene, and um, then stirring additionally at room temperature. So you have many different uh, temperatures applying in one reaction. So another feature of Chemotion is that instead of just typing in a temperature, you can use the temperature chart. So I did it here for this experiment. You're starting, as I said, at 140 degrees. So you set your time to zero and going to, let's say, three hours. Afterwards, cooling down. You can also, when you're not going to exactly three hours, but let's say, um, OK, just a second. So to three hours and 30 minutes, you will have just uh, things like temperature ramps. And there you can put in all the temperatures you're applying during your reaction and receive such a profile. So you have an overview over uh, the temperature during your synthesis. 
one aspect that is not solved right now in the ELN, but it will be changed is if you have to use uh, stoichiometric factors. So when you're looking at the uh, comproportionation of iron and iron three chloride to iron two chloride, you will have um, to type in your molecules, in this case, two for three times. Um, so the ELN can calculate your um, yields correctly. That's a thing that I guess will be implemented in the next half a year or a year. So you can just use factors instead of typing in your molecule three times or more. But right now you have to keep in mind that when you have um, three molecules as substrates that yielding you three other molecules, you have to uh, yeah, type in all the molecules so you get the right um, yields at the end. The last step of the synthesis is the synthesis of ferrocene. And um, here you already see that the way ferrocene um, shown is not very correctly and not very nice because you all know cyclopentadienyl with its delocalized electrodes should um, have dative bonds from all uh, carbon atoms to the iron. Programs like ChemDraw or, uh, or others are showing you very nicely this uh, eta-5 dative bonds. That's not feasible with ChemMotion. So you have to write it down as a salt but this offers the possibility to give you the right SMILES code. If you're, uh, if you're typing in ferrocene as a nice metallocene complex in ChemDraw and giving out the SMILES code, you won't end up with the SMILES code that uh, really fits ferrocene. So that doesn't look very nice. I'm aware of that, but um, it gives you the right structure in the end. So, Two last points I want to come to in the end um, is how to give out a report because that I guess is one of the strengths of um, ChemOcean if you're writing a paper and have all your um, reactions already in the ELN, you can give out uh, a report format with all the necessary information in it. So when you're going up here to the report, um, section, you can just click at all the reactions you want to add to your report and you have different possibilities to put this out. I won't go too into detail in, to everyone and there's a standard template and when you archive this one, you're getting a file. Okay, it takes a minute, so in the meantime I can show you how to put out the supporting information. Um, you can just select one of the opportunities here, but can uh, modify the settings by just saying what should uh, Chemotion give you out, in what order should all the um, reactions appear. So just start with the first reaction. And go to uh, the synthesis of ferrocene. And in the supporting information section, you can also label your uh, molecules. So let's say you're using ferrocene as a complex in your uh, paper. You can just call this one, okay, it's complex one. And by doing so, Chemotion generates you um, supporting information where every time you use ferrocene, it's always stated as K1. So you have a um, uh, nicely structured supporting information. Same thing here, you can just generate this. And while this is generated, I can show you the standard um, output of Chemotion. Oh, I think I have to change the screen. 
here we go. And uh, you can see here it's just uh, sorted after the directions. I haven't uh, sorted it very well here. And um, you have an overview about the reaction number, if your reaction, in which state your reaction is, all your entries um, concerning uh, the masses you used, the description you typed in, and also if you did other things like giving a literature or doing some analysis, it's all stated here. So if you have a student or a researcher and just want to give them out a reaction, you can give them this report and they have a nice overview over your reactions and can do the same synthesis. Now we can show you the supporting information. Okay, now you have a little different structure. Okay, I haven't said anything except the K1 for uh, ferrocene and You'll see all your uh, re uh, all your uh, reactions with a nice scheme and also your um, description and all the outcomes of your reactions. And as I said here, we set um, ferrocene as complex number one. So it just labels it right. And if you're using in your paper a specific um, way to name your molecules, you can just apply it to your supporting information. As it is a Word document, you can format it uh, afterwards as you like. So if you are not happy with the way, uh, with the properties you can set in motion, you can just uh, apply settings uh, you like afterwards. So, and with this, I hope I could give you a short overview over um, some functions you might not know, some functions that might uh, give you some problems. And um, there is much more than I just uh, talked about right now, but we can discuss afterwards, or if you like and have specific things, you can just uh, tell us and we can prepare another um, tips and hints session uh, at the Chemotion Stammtisch, if you like.